Lonnie T here with Anthony Pomponio. And Anthony, you're 189. You're 16 pounds heavier than you were at my contest. But as we were just talking about right now, you're probably tighter now than you were then, especially if you tan up and everything. You, you, you drop weight to make a weight class, but I think in the end you lost muscle to go along with it. Absolutely. Um, you know, it was my first couple of contests. I kind of learned what to do and what not to do now. And uh, I would carb deplete a little too much and lose, end up losing muscle in the end, which ended up hurting me because I come in at 170, 172, and it compared to 180, 185, where I should be coming in at. Right now, I'm 189. I was about 195. Started doing some sprinting and high-intensity workouts for football and just been cutting water and a little bit of body fat weight. And uh, I think right now I'm pretty vascular and hard. I think I can hop on stage right now and tan up and do some damage. Yeah, I think a lot of people overrate the cardio aspect. You know, the most common thing that you see in a gym are the cardio queens or the cardio kings on that elliptical or on that treadmill going full blast an hour, hour and a half a day. And they, they don't realize, they don't change because they're actually losing muscle and their testosterone levels are lowering with all that excessive cardio. You've never really have done that much cardio, right? When you were preparing, you won John Lindsay's uh, muscle contest last year, what was called the Max Muscle Naturals. I don't even think you did any cardio in prepping for that show. I haven't done actual, I don't remember last time I ran more than a mile was or been on the treadmill for more than a minute at a time. I usually real high intensity stuff. Just uh, working on speed work and sprinting. Yeah, you're doing specificity training, specific workouts for your sport. You know, and, and it, I always thought it was so dumb, even way back in high school, when you had foot, the football team run, doing two and three miles on the track, or when I played basketball, we did two miles, three miles, we're being timed. When you ever run two miles in a basketball game, you run from one line to the next line, back and forth, like you're talking about in football. You know, your longest run in your college career was at what, 80 yard touchdown run? 80 yards. Yeah, so you, what would be the point of going out there and doing three and four? You, you weren't on the cross country team. A lot of people don't understand that. You need to train for the sport that you're doing. Exactly, sport specific training. I mean, I can understand maybe the first couple of weeks just getting some cardio shape, metabolic shape. But after that, I mean, there's really no point. You'll be losing muscle and um, gaining no speed at all. Because like you said, football, basketball, those are all short sprints at a time. So you should be concentrating on more of the short sprint aspect of it. You know, I think bodybuilders get too caught up in the cardio too. And they're, they're always so worried that they never look good enough. And someone's telling them, maybe you need to do a little more of this. You need to do a little more of that. Don't you think it's best to go by what your eye sees? I mean, and if you're in terrific shape, if you're in 187 pounds and your body fat's down at 5% and there's veins popping out and the muscles are deep, why do the cardio? There's no point. Just people get in their mindset that cardio is the only way to go and to lose body fat. And a lot of bodybuilders like to define their muscles a little more by pushing the water out. So. That's the reason why they do the low intensity cardio, like walking on a treadmill or going on the stipper, but there's really no point in going on a treadmill running miles. There's too much pain. It's, it's more Increases pain. chance of injury too. More, more stress in the joints. Absolutely, more pain than gain, that's what I would say. You always were a very strong kid, obviously to lift this type of weight, you have to have great genetics, the way the tendons and the ligaments tie into the muscle. Didn't you lift like 300 pounds the first time you ever tried the bench press in high school? First time I, I benched, I benched 160. Out of body but I mean, that was like a sophomore. I'm talking, as you, as you, when you were a senior, weren't you the, the king of the hill? Didn't you have a bench press and squat contest in high yeah. school? We had the bench. I had the bench record for probably still right now for overall body weight lifted, which was I, I benched 315. I probably weighed 150, maybe, maybe 315 and 150, somewhere around there. Wow, where's Eli? I want to ask Eli what he thought about that. Oh. <laughs> Now I'm at probably about, give or take, 435, 445. You can do 445, you feel on the bench now? Probably. Wow. You can do four or five, four to five times fresh. How about squat? Squat, I could, I could probably put five plates on it, do it a handful of times or so, parallel. How many times a week do you train? All right, right now I'm training about five days a week. Monday, I'll do chest. Tuesday, well, Here's my here's where my training's going right now. I'm trying to hit compound movements throughout the week. So what I mean by compound movements, squat. So you got squat, bench, deadlift, and uh, hang cleans, which is like an Olympic lift. And I try to hit those four movements every other, I mean, every day during the week. Um, today we're doing deadlifts. Um, let's see here. 
Monday I did chest, so I did bench. Tuesday I did um, cleans, so more of an explosive day. So strength day, explosive, strength day, explosive, strength day, explosive, basically. I squatted yesterday. Yesterday I actually squatted and ran a, a power sled that I have, hook it up to the back of you and run with it with like 90 pounds in the back. Runs like, I ran like 10 sprints of 50 yards there and back. So then it'd be like about 20 power sprints. And then today's deadlifts and tomorrow more of an auxiliary day, um, some type of uh, high intensity workout, like nonstop for about 15 minutes. That CrossFit training philosophy, work on the explosiveness. Anything specific in your diet? You know what, right now I'm just eating, to tell you the truth, just eating everything I see. And uh, cause I burn it off so quickly that it hurts me not to eat or else I'll burn off muscle. So. So true. Okay, for Anthony Pomponio, First in your hearts, but second here in the push-up contest. This is Lonnie Teeper signing off for IronManMagazine.com. Over. Under. Out.